So you've clicked the link. <laughs> and you want to know why that song is so dear to me. Well, I'm going to preface it with this. I have a great family. And just like every family, we, uh, we have our problems sometimes. But the truth is, is we all really love each other. And so when my mother became pregnant with me at 15 and had me when she was 16, my grandparents stepped in and they supported her greatly. She was able to finish school. My grandparents were an extremely important part of my life, as with every one of us grandkids. But I was a special situation. Um, I lived with my grandparents and my mother and her sister and even my dad sometimes in a little bitty cabin um, down on the Mississippi. <laughs> and uh, I grew up with them being um, more of a a parent role, even though I have my mom, but we are also really like sisters. We grew up together and her little sister is more like my big sister. And yes, she picked on me. Candy. Um, so needless to say, I'm, I was very close to my grandparents and, uh, I mean, even growing up when I didn't live with them, I lived next door and I was, yeah, I'm the first grandkid. I'm, it was just a really special relationship with them. And even extended family would often forget that they weren't my real parents. They were my grandparents. It was its just a funny, funny thing. However, in uh, 2014, I lost my grandpa. He was a really good man. He was. I mean, he had a past on him like a lot of people do. And he made some radical changes to his life after 50. <laughs> but he was always a great grandpa. And when he got sick, I was living across the country, well, in a different country. And we sped home and I got to be with him until the very end. <laughs> to the point where I was the one in the ambulance to the hospital and I was the one that the doctors talked to about pulling that plug and I was also the one that had to say you need to help me talk to my family about this because it's not my decision and uh but that was rough on everybody. I mean, especially my grandmother. My grandpa was the positive male role model in my life. And now he was gone. So this song was really something like I held on to. It's, but you're not supposed to cry in this song, but nah. of course I'm going to go against that. And then let's fast forward to September of this past year. My grandmother got sick. And I went down because we kind of knew it was coming to an end. And the day I got down there, my mother and her sister had to make the heart-wrenching but right decision to bring my grandmother home for hospice care so she didn't have to suffer anymore through all of the tests and all of the drugs and everything to just keep her going. So the three of us took on the responsibility of taking care of my grandmother at home. And uh, I encourage anybody when your loved one gets to that point to do that for them, it is a great decision to love them and to take care of them at the very end stage. But I will warn you, it takes a lot out of you. And you will 
live with those memories, good and bad, because I'll tell you, there was some good memories in there. There were times that she was completely awake and had a little bounce back, and that was nice. But it only lasted less than a week. And I'm grateful for that. She didn't have to suffer. And it made a bond between my mother and her sister and I very strong. And I am grateful for those two ladies. And I am proud to be in their family. And I know that my grandmother is very proud. But now this song has a double meaning because it's not only my grandpa who was very special to me, but now my grandmother is gone. And I know they're together and I know they're happy. But it's still hard. And I know that probably everybody has the, these, these memories or these feelings when they hear that song. They all have a loved one. And I think that that's okay. I think that that's great to remember them. I think that's how they stay alive. But that's why I picked the song. It definitely makes me cry. Uh, thank you for listening. If you relate or if you have anything, write it down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. I know I'm not the only one grieving right now. and My heart goes out to anybody out there that's also grieving. It's uh, something we all have to do and we can't hide away from it. My Actually, my grief counselor, my therapist, said that I needed to become friends with my grief instead of holding it down and never dealing with it. I needed to take let it take its time. That's hard for me because I just want these feelings to go away like that. But they don't. Instead, I have to let it heal and remember that it's okay to cry. And it's okay to still miss them. And it's okay to not be over it. I mean, my grandpa was in 2014. Still not over it. I don't know how long it will take to be over my uh, my grandmother's. I mean, it was just in September. So uh, take your time and remember that tomorrow's never promised. So those ones that are near you and uh, that are around, remember to love them too. Thanks.